There's a lot of buzz around self-driving cars, but autonomous driving technology could revolutionize a different industry first. Everyone's talking about self-driving cars, and rather than starting the 51st self-driving car startup, what if we apply that same idea to a more tractable use case, which we believe to be construction? Unlike cars functioning on city streets, autonomous tech is at a point where it can be safely integrated. Construction sites are more systematic and controlled than public roads are. Construction is more conducive in the near term to the rollout of autonomous equipment. And the introduction of automation in construction could have a profound impact on an industry that has been slow to adapt. The way we build today is largely unchanged from the way we used to build 50 years ago. And so there has been a certain level of stagnation as far as the technological innovation goes in the industry. A lot of these projects go over budget and over time. One of the big benefits is just making sure that you get things done in a defined amount of time with a more predictable schedule. You can have that one person um, having the productivity of five machines. And so it starts to scale pretty significantly. This is very hard work on the body. And we've seen that um, you know, one out of every four workers tends to end their career earlier with uh, injuries. Construction is a massive industry um, that hasn't benefited from a lot of the latest technological advancements we've seen in the world. And so we believe that the bringing digitization and automation into this industry will really transform how it works. Construction represents one of the largest sectors in the global economy, with about $10 trillion spent each year. That spending accounts for 13% of the world's GDP. But the sector's annual productivity growth has only increased 1% over the past 20 years. According to one study, $1.6 trillion of additional value added could be created through higher productivity. There has been just a huge amount of waste in the industry, and that's not because people aren't working hard, it's just because it's hard to coordinate all the various different tasks and so forth. When you look at construction, labor productivity has declined by 50% since the 1950s. The industry is also faced with a labor shortage, and the COVID-19 pandemic has only further complicated things. It's making people step back and say, hey, the way we've been doing things for a long time is just not sustainable. So I think in some ways COVID is just a wake up call. Mining and agriculture have been utilizing autonomous equipment for years. Farmers have been using GPS technology to guide them along rows and turn for a long time. And then Caterpillar, I think they have over 200 mining trucks running autonomously in the world. I think they actually say they have more miles driven uh, than a lot of the autonomous car companies do. And the benefits of using the technology could transform the industry. Autonomous wraps into a whole suite of technologies that allow you to measure, cost out, and do your work in a more predictable, planned, and efficient way. And I think that can be very, very powerful. The Canvas system really allows workers uh, now to deliver in two days instead of seven. Autonomous construction machinery utilizes the same equipment as self-driving cars. We have an existing vehicle and we add sensor to that. Same thing that Waymo would do and the sensor we use a LiDAR radar camera. The scale and the pace at which the auto industry has, has brought down the cost of the supply chain has been just transformational for what's possible in the heavy equipment world. You can now collapse your construction timelines. You can knock out work overnight so that it's ready for your, your human workers in the morning to speed them along. The trucks themselves can be 30% more productive, so you get less stop and start. You have just more efficient routes. You do the, the whole job more efficiently. Um, you know, and it can be a substantial savings. So a typical, you know, mid-sized infrastructure construction project takes about five years. If you introduce autonomy, it will take them instead of five years, they can get the job done in three and a half years. Instead of spending 60 million, they can get the job done for 40 million. Other things like costs of insurance, costs of fuel, we will start to see equipment that is actuated very precisely because computers are behind it. And so we're able to avoid a lot of rework and, and costly mistakes that can naturally occur due to human errors. There are several companies working on autonomous technology. Everything from the big players such as Caterpillar and Komatsu to startups like Built Robotics and Canvas. I think the OEMs have really been starting to increase the cadence with which they're thinking about the automation problem. And I think they've definitely shown that there's a huge market here. The mining industry was one of the first to employ the use of self-driving tech. 
Caterpillar began its first autonomy program over 30 years ago. Once the DARPA Grand Challenge was successful, pretty much all the people who were involved, Caterpillar took the big, you know, all the top people and started their autonomous mining truck project. Caterpillar has the largest fleet of autonomous haul trucks. The company says it has hauled 2 billion metric tons in just over six years. Built Robotics is a San Francisco-based startup founded by an ex-Google engineer that already has machinery out in the field. We've done a lot of work um, both on wind and solar projects here in the U.S. We're also starting to work in Australia, and the particular application there is oil and gas. Built is retrofitting existing construction equipment with self-driving tech. Imagine a future where you can show up to a construction site and you tell a piece of equipment that you want to dig a trench from point A to point B and you press go. And then that giant excavator starts to do the work. It has automated several pieces of equipment, such as bulldozers and excavators. Built sees potential for automating other areas too. Other examples are compactors or asphalt pavers and motor graders. I think there's actually a limitless number of possibilities here where autonomy can play a big role. Safe AI is another Silicon Valley startup. It recently teamed up with Obayashi for a pilot program. It has been retrofitting equipment like dump trucks, bulldozers, and loaders. We add AI technology to that and make it completely autonomous. That means this vehicle is now running around without any operator in the cab and getting the job done that needs to get done. It's focused on infrastructure, which represents a majority of construction projects. These are the projects that are hugely inefficient, very repetitive, run in a massive scale. So anything run in a massive scale and you automate that, the return is going to be massive as well. Robots are also helping inside. San Francisco-based Canvas created an autonomous machine for finishing drywall. We focused on drywall finishing as our first place of bringing these machines onto site. And this is partially because it is one of the most labor-intensive trades where the tools haven't really changed significantly for 75 years. The machine works alongside the crew, helping them expedite the process. The worker basically guides the system and, and tells it what to do and where to do it. Each worker can operate multiple machines, um, really streamlining the workflow. One of the things we've done with the machine is enabled it to apply materials with a lot of precision and a lot of consistency. The Canvas robot has already been used for projects like the San Francisco Airport and the Chase Arena. Now that we have the system reliable and really delivering on a regular basis for our customers here and are growing here, we're starting to look towards other cities in the U.S. and starting to spread this more nationally. The technological revolution coming to construction opens up some new potential revenue streams. Basically what you're doing is you're adding value to your customers through having more reliable equipment, more productive and more effective equipment, and you know hopefully reducing the uncertainty of breakdowns and other things. Then you can figure out a revenue model around all those things. Uh, some of those are not yet created, but um, if there's value there, there's a way to sort of charge for it. While operators won't be needed inside the vehicles, their skills will still be utilized on the construction site. You can reallocate their time to higher value tasks on the site. So they're not doing the basic repetitive mundane work, but rather they're doing the things that humans are best at. You still have to manage the resource. You still have to tell the truck, go do 20 shift right now and then go here to do another 20 shift. So we are really moving people out of harm's way, less skilled, repetitive one to a more skilled one. The coronavirus pandemic upended life as we knew it and introduced challenges on the industry that have never been seen before. But it has created a boom for autonomous machinery. Every construction company we are talking to, there is a extremely heightened sense of interest because they realize labor shortage is always there. Now COVID just puts an even extra emergency, if you will, on top of it. I think what COVID has done is it's reinforced the emphasis on safety and on health and on productivity. And so if you have unplanned you know, downtime, that can be disruptive to a project. And so I think that that's uh, sharpened the focus on autonomous technologies considerably. And perhaps down the road, we may see autonomous equipment used in some unexpected places. And before long, seeing driverless machinery on construction sites might not be that unusual. Everybody is going to take it a little cautious, so make sure we don't mess it up. We do it right. There is just not enough people doing this thing. The way I say, if Waymo would have done autonomous construction, we would have seen autonomous construction machine all over the place by now. 
Autonomy is coming, and I think particularly construction is one of the first applications that we'll see it uh, on a widespread basis. Within two years though, I think we're really gonna turn the corner and you're gonna see an explosion almost of uh, robotics being on construction sites. And I don't doubt that it'll become a common thing to see.